Good morning, everybody. How are you? I just wanted to show you. I'm just about to do um, a series of mixed media pieces um, with, you know, how I always have a focus point. And the focus point is going to be uh, keys and the lock that they came in. And I have got these beautiful, I will show you, um, beautiful um, keyhole, antique keyholes. And I've also got um, some little uh, tiny, the tops of um, the screws, you know, a Phillips head and a flat head. And also these gorgeous, which I'm going to put on a book, hinges or a door that I'm going to make. So, um, I made these yesterday. These are flexible um, so that they can be glued in and, and they won't, you know, they move. They're not going to be brittle or anything like that. And I, I, and I will put the link below of where I actually bought these. If anyone is interested, I just thought I'd show you their molds I bought online and I'll put the link below. There is a key there too. Um, I found it very difficult to make the key in um, the Bacon Ben Sculpey. That's what I'm using um, just because it's, you know, flexible. Um, so it's just a matter of, um, so I will show you, uh, I will show you what I was using. I mean, it's pretty simple. I don't know that I need to do a, a demonstration on it because you just, um, well, maybe I should do a demonstration on it. Okay, a quick demonstration, <laughs> quick demonstration. Okay, so this is what I'm using. And the reason I'm using this Bacon Ben Sculpey is because um, I like um, it to be flexible in a book or on whatever I'm using it for, um, whatever page I'm using it using it for. I need a plastic down if I'm going to do this. Hold on, let me just get a small bit of plastic, not paper, behind it. That won't work. All right, with Sculpey, you just have to make it a bit warm. And this is cooked in an oven of 130 Celsius for like 20 minutes, and then it's um, it's set like solid. And then I've just put um, on this one, I've put the ink stamp, and on the others, I've used acrylic gold paint. Um, I suppose you could use them on the front of your books too, you know, like on my journal. Not that I had actually thought about that because I have a lock going on that, but you could do that. Um, I will get that out later. Stick with one thing, Judy. <laughs> Alright, I wasn't really going to do it, damn it, but I will do one because I do it probably different to anyone else. So, I just push in the coil like so making sure to leave that bit of the key sticking out push it all the way down and I've got a beautiful um, spatula that I use in doing things like this. I think this also is a um, cake decorating mold which um, is fabulous so it's well pushed in so it's going to pick up all that beautiful texture and what I do is I get the and just slice it off and then push it back down again the spatula does a really good job of doing that. Making sure that key is there. Now I normally leave it for a couple of minutes because my hands have been playing with the warm 
the warm air. This won't set up also. The Sculpey won't set up until it's um, fired, but I do like to keep it in a small plastic bag um, if I've opened, opened, um, opened it up. So I am going to do, yeah, so I'm going to do a couple of mixed media pieces with these. Uh, these are the, as the focus point, I think, which I'm looking forward to. And I'll link them maybe to the bottom of this when I've done them. And then it gently... And slowly. Oop. Now, if it rips like it just did then, don't worry about it. Let's put it back down. It's because I haven't left it for quite long enough to get a bit cool. But that's okay. Oh, I'm forcing it out. Alright. So it's quite, it's quite a, um, if I had a fridge out here, I would probably put it into the fridge. And, um, but it is quite cold here at the moment in winter. So if I had a fridge, I'd probably put it in the fridge and then pull them out after I'd, you know, had my hot hands over it so there you go that's what it looks like um when it's done i'm not going to fire up again for one piece so i'll just make put that back in um okay i will leave the links below enjoy i'd love to see your work okay bye